Hey guys, hey, this is your girl Queen Marsh and I'm back again with another video. So you can see from the title or description or whatever you want to call it, I am going to be talking about how me and my husband met. You know, because everybody be like, oh, you guys are such a cute couple and blase, blase, blase. Will you guys meet? And, blah, blah, blah. and I just used to be like, we met in Georgia at his aunt house. But no, I am going to tell you guys really how it went down. <laughs> you guys ready for this? Okay, so. This, this this is how okay so the first time i laid the eyes on my now husband <laughs> was the first time i saw him was at a at the skate it was a skating ring that we used to go to like on the weekends and we used to meet up and stuff we didn't even go there to skate or anything we just used to go there to stand there look cute dance like that's what i used to love i used to you know let's do all the dancing and stuff i didn't even care about skating to be honest and um he was there at the time with this guy that i used to talk to which was like in the family but not in the family and i oh I can say like <laughs> but anyway yeah so um and it's crazy because that night we got into like a huge uh fight because I don't I don't even know like how it started I don't even know why these girls try to fight my little sister or I don't know she had an attitude and she didn't want to be there I don't know what it is, but she chose to pick, like, fight the most big Amazon-looking female. And I was like, nah, like, what's this? I ain't never seen my little sister got in a fight, and I be throwing them in, you know what I'm saying? Boy, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, you can't get the best out of this up on my sister. So I started fighting and stuff. and the guy that I was with was like calm down and you know y'all looking crazy and stuff like that and at the time my husband was looking like who the hell is these ratchet looking <laughs> ratchet ratchet fevers like why are they acting like this like you know he's looking at us like we were stink or whatever but I wasn't even paying him no attention at the time at the time okay okay you know what I'm saying because I was like I don't, I don't care how he feels anyway so with that being said and time as time went on or whatever the case would be but mine guys i've been knowing his his um some of his family members members that moved to georgia from since i was 15 years old because they used to live like two doors down from me in the apartment where we was at so i've been new um some of his family or whatever so <clears throat> his family wasn't really a stranger to me or whatever so the second time i saw him um i used to work at this place called steak and shake and um the guy that i was with at the time um i had bought him some um air force ones or whatever and after work me and my home girl came over to drop it off at the house at his house or whatever and knocked on the door or whatever he came out he opened the door I'm going upstairs and he's sitting down there on a recliner watching basketball and you know i try to you know get my home girl to get on him but <laughs> he's he's so bougie and picky with who he talked to i guess you know what i'm saying he looked at her like girl if you don't get away from here i don't know if that's that what i don't know if that was the case or if he had somebody in new york he was talking to i don't know what it is but he turned that girl down like she looked like an ogre like she was just green <laughs> Or whatever so after that um i got into some you know altercation with my um sister or whatever the case may be and i happened to leave georgia and i went back home to the virgin islands um after i went back home to the virgin islands and um whatever all went on down there whatever the case may be um i ended up moving to florida and then i didn't want to be in florida no more so i hit up my sister and i was like boom i need to 
come up by come up to you for a minute you know what i'm saying let me get on my feet me and my daughter whatever the case may be you know what i'm saying and she was like sure you know because that's my ride and die right there she know who i'm talking about you know what i'm saying and so i end up coming up to um to georgia and i was staying with my sister mine my sister at the time was married to his uncle and um so i kind of you know what i'm saying it's yeah it's it's weird but it's not weird anyway so i didn't see him for a while and then one day i came down um my sister was about to have my niece and i had came down to um my sister husband's um i have uh si my sister husband's sister house and um I came in the door, whatever, you know, I can remember it like it was yesterday. I had on like my, I had these pink and white. I don't know if y'all remember like the boot heels, like, you know, the, it's, it's heels, but they look like boots. But anyway, I had on the pink and white boot heels and my, um, I had on some tights on the top or whatever. And I came in the house and they was on the floor, like my sister, her husband and my sister, her husband and my husband now was on the floor and so i was like get up or whatever so i don't I, something along the line like I, you know and i know she was like why are you so loud and, and stuff like that you wake up everybody or whatever and i was like i told you i'm coming like why are you still sleeping you know what i'm saying and i saw him like because half of his head was underneath at the time i didn't even know who it was you know what I'm saying? until my sister told me um that was so and so and he was asking who that you know what i'm saying that's how you know <laughs> I don't even gotta say that to them. They just be like, who that? You know what I'm saying? I just got that po- <laughs> <laughs> If y'all wanna know, you know, I give y'all a little tutorial. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Anyway, so after that, um, we started like since you know my sister was in the family and i've been new to family since i was 15. you know we was always around each other all the time or whatever and um so yeah one day you know we happened to be together by ourselves and we started talking and he was like he liked my vibes and stuff like that he ain't know nobody down here in georgia you know what i'm saying just wheeling me in y'all let me tell y'all something about my husband this man has the strongest pickup line ever i swear he can sell water to a well <laughs> he can sell water to a well anyway he started doing the street talking da -da 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 -da. You know what I'm saying? My sister said, you better watch what you're getting yourself into. You know what I'm saying? Saying all that stuff. Just looking out. Just being a big sister or whatever. But you know, I'm hard-headed anyway. I'm going to do me. So we started kicking it or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? He used to, um, it's crazy because at the time, like, he didn't want his aunt to know that we was talking or anything. I didn't want her to know. I mean, I really didn't care. Let's make that clear. I didn't click care if she knew. He didn't want her to know whatever the kids would be. So he used to be bringing the kids up from um one one county to the next county. So he always used to volunteer, you know, because he know that I'll be up there, whatever the kids would be boom so one day he was like oh i'm hungry you know what i'm saying if you can cook or whatever the case may be so his aunt then left out the house nobody was there whatever and at the time i was over by my homegirl house so i was like yeah i'm gonna come over and cook i was doing i think i did macaroni and cheese rice barbecue chicken or whatever so guys listen i'm at the house or whatever we chilling i'm cooking or whatever so i'm like you sure your aunt them not gonna come back at the house you sure nobody's gonna turn around he was like nah 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 we good man that's why y'all don't let you listen to your gut feeling stop listening to these men out here so he's like nah 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 we good we good so i'm cooking or whatever the kids may be next thing probably like a half an hour to an hour i don't i don't really know the time frame uh we heard a car like pulled up in the driveway so he was like oh somebody's here oh shit somebody's here and i'm like oh my god you know what i'm saying what i gotta do so i ran and got my shoes or whatever 
and trying to tell him like, okay, the chicken is almost done. All you got to do is store the rice or whatever the case may be. So I put my shoes on and I went through the back door. So going downstairs, it had like a little room area where they kept like their tools or whatever the case may be. I was going to hide in there. You feel what I'm saying? Until they left or until the place got quiet and he could have came out and snuck outside. But I was like, mm -mm, these people move around too much. They do too much renovation. They always, you know, doing some type of project. And I'm like, uh, uh, this, this is, this is trap right here. So I was like, okay, bump it. Let me, let me, let me just go. Let me just go back to my friend house because my friend lived like the next complex over. But the thing is, the only way for me to get to her house without being seen is through the bush, guys. I was like, Kunta Kinte running through the bushes yo when i tell you i was running like it was a pit bull or somebody was like the police was behind me i'm running through running 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 guys just, just right. running i don't know caribbean people i don't know if y'all you know when you get in trouble back home and they'll tell you to go take a a, a switch off the tree and um bring it in or whatever the case may be and by the time they finish whooping your behind you have whales all over the place let me tell you something when i finally got out that forest oh that's how it felt to me it felt like the amazon rainforest when i got out the forest i had whales all over my skin i lost one of my flip-flops yes i was running through the bushes with flip-flops on i lost one of my flip-flops and i was so out of breath when I got to my friend's mama house and she opened up the door, she was like, what is wrong with you? Like, she was ready because she thought I got into some type of fight or me and him got into it or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, nah. I was like, he don't want his aunt to know that we're talking or whatever. So I had to run through the bush or whatever the case to me. And she's like, girl, you better than me. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's the. So after that, um... You know, him still coming back and forth to where I was at, where, where I was living, you know, keep coming back and forth, back and forth. Because we always was able to see each other. Like, it was just, like, normal. Like, we just kept it on the hush. Like, knew, nobody knew about it. You know what I'm saying? We used to be on the phone, like, all type of hours. His, I'm thinking, like, he's not on the phone. I'm hearing her telling him, get up and go wash the dishes or whatever she was saying to him. And I'd just be on the phone, like, six seven eight nine ten hours you know what i'm saying while he playing the game or he running errands or doing whatever the case may be anyway so coming out to the point that his aunt found out that we was talking or whatever the case may be and she kicked him out guys she kicked this lady kicked him out when she found out that he was talking to me and the funny part that the funny and hurtful part to for me is that why you gonna kick this man out? You knew me from since I was 15 years old. And you defended me when I was like really telling people off at that time. Cause I just felt like they wasn't doing what they was doing by for me. So I didn't I didn't want to buy by their rules or anything. And you defended me then. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if because I was a child or whatever the case would be. And you know, she kicked him out and um <laughs> <laughs> she kicked him out anyway so when i found out that she kicked him out um i ended up calling uh one of my sisters and i was like listen you know i need me and this person need a place to stay or whatever this is my boyfriend you know what i'm saying i introduced her to him or whatever she's like oh he's cool and he's cute and handsome and all that extra baggage you know what i'm saying and we stayed there for a while and stack up our money um end up getting our first place um together which was weird kind of weird but not weird because it's like you know what i'm saying like i know that he never lived with a woman before you know i've did it already i'm with a man you know what i'm saying and we're here today like that's pretty much how it went down been married for five years um we started uh we made it official january the first 2004 four 2004 yeah because my daughter yeah 
yeah so January the 1st 2004 is when we made it official and we are here together up to this day guys so since you guys listen to all my business because I choose to tell it this is the moral of the story guys what God put together no man can separate who God blessed no man curse so don't let anybody tell you who is for you and who is not for you you know what i'm saying you make that decision you 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 work it out um and you go from there because i felt like that's one of the best um fight because i had to fight like running through the bushes was not the beginning you know what i'm saying like it was the beginning but it wasn't the end that's what i meant to say i had to fight My life i had to fight I saw that this man had great potential i saw that he uh, was a family man he was very respectable and i refused to let that go because of anybody feeling like we we shouldn't have been together so yeah like you know keep the relationship going fight for what you what you want fight for what you believe in and and at the end then it'll 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 blossom to become something um beautiful all right guys that sums up wrapped up finished up tied up wailed up <laughs> my how i met my husband if you like this video, guys, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you felt like you know something that I left out, go ahead and comment it down below. No shame. Okay? Until next time.